up? My name is Anya, and for today's video I'll be doing another crime story. Today I'll be talking about the wife that killed her husband with sugar and water uh, while making mini cereals. So I really hope you enjoy this video. If you do, please give this video a like. Don't forget to comment on what other cases you want me to talk about. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Today I'm going to be talking about the woman who killed her husband with water and sugar while making mini cereals. Disclaimer, I'm telling the case as I perceived it. I mean no disrespect to the victims or the victim's family. Let me know in the comments if I missed something about the case. The case begins in July 2020 in the UK. Corinna Smith, age 59, was spending time with her daughter. During the course of the visit, the daughter confesses to the mom that her father, Corinna's husband, Michael Baines, age 81, sexually abused her and her brother when they were children. Her brother, unfortunately, had taken his life in the year 2007. The mom was in denial, but kept thinking about the last conversation she had with her son. He said that someone had hurt him as a child, but she did not want to pressure him because he was going through so many mental issues already and she did not want to add extra stress for him. Now, she regrets not asking. Corinna made the decision to fill a bucket with hot water. She added in three bags of sugar. Her husband was sleeping in the bed, unaware about his wife's actions. Corinna poured the hot sugar water all over his arms and torso. Once sugar water cools slightly, it becomes thick and sticky. It stuck to his skin and he was in terrible agony. Corinna ran nine doors down from her house and told that neighbor, and I quote, I've hurt him real bad. I think I've killed him. The paramedics arrived and took Michael to the hospital. At the hospital, they found that he had burns to 36% of his body. He died a month later. Corinna was found guilty of murder and was sentenced to a minimum of 12 years in prison. This story is very controversial. Some say that she did what she did because she's a mother protecting her children. But others say that she should have rather gone to the police and let her husband have a fair trial. Because now that he is dead, we won't know the full story of what actually happened with him and the children. Some say that they can, in a way, understand her actions, but not to the extent that she went to. So it takes a long time for sugar to dissolve in water. And people are saying that the time it took for sugar to dissolve into the water, she could have stopped her actions. But unfortunately she didn't and she took matters into her own hands. But let me know in the comments if you think what she did, if you agree with it or not. Let's not say if it's right or wrong, because we cannot decide that. Uh, but let me know in the comments. My question is, why did she choose such a strange way to kill her husband? Cook sugar and water and pour it all over him. It's such a strange way to kill someone. I wonder if it's like an old wives tale that it's been passed down generation where she learned this. If you know, please leave in the comment section below. And also let me know in the comment section if there's a case you want me to cover in the future. Until next time, bye!